Hey guys, today is a no makeup grocery and cleaning day. So we're just getting all of our chores done. And so I wanted to show you guys our grocery haul. We just got home from the grocery store. We spent $62.89 on everything for our groceries for this week. Um, we actually have been really low on our grocery budget. This is the last week of the month and we barely spent anything on groceries. So we have a lot that we actually got today. This is a lot more than we normally get. This is just for two people, only two of us. And we did our grocery shopping at Kroger, which is our local Fred Meyer um, brand in Oregon. So here's a look at everything that we got for about $63 at Kroger. So first off, canned food items. We got two things of red beans, um, which we're going to be using for a lunch and dinner meal coming up this week. And then sliced olives. Um, all of these are Kroger brand, Kroger brand. I try to use Kroger brand as much as possible because the store brand is a lot cheaper. Um, original just cream cheese, also Kroger brand for our dairy section here. Also in dairy, we got some eggs and some mozzarella cheese sticks, which I'm going to be using for lunch. We got some um, Monterey Jack cheese and medium cheddar cheese, and I'm using this for a pasta salad that I'm making today. We have some friends coming over for that. Um, we also got regular milk. We get milk every week, and then we got chocolate milk as well. Um, I only get chocolate milk when it's on sale. I actually love chocolate milk, but having it be on sale saves the budget, and also the fact that I shouldn't be getting chocolate milk every week, so that is why I have chocolate milk. And then we got Tillamook ice cream. Again, we try and stick to store brand as much as possible, but there's just those few things that are so much better with it being the name brand. Tillamook ice cream is literally the best, and it was on sale this week, so we picked up some. This is our favorite flavor is the Tillamook mudslide. And then we also got some salami for the pasta salad that I will be making today, so that'll be good. Next, into more of the produce section here, we got a thing of bananas, which Jacob eats every day for breakfast. Um, we have some cilantro here. I'm going to be making yumbles again. I know I talked about that before. Um, so maybe I'll be showing you guys how I make yumbles, but um, I use cilantro for that. As well as avocado. Jacob doesn't like avocado, but I do, so I use just one avocado in the um, yumbles. Next I have baby carrots and I will be eating baby carrots in my lunch. Um, I'm putting together more of just like a snack box type of lunch. So this is what I'm going to be having in my lunch as well as craisins um, for my lunch. I think of these are pretty good. So those will be there. And then moving to more of our non-perishable items that we got. Um, here's the pasta that I'll be using for the pasta salad as well as the Italian dressing. All just regular Kroger brand, normal brand things. Um, we got some waffle and pancake mix here, also Kroger brand. We were a little confused because it said baking mix, but it is in fact pancake mix. Um, we got bagels. The store was doing buy one get one free for bagels, so we're just going to put these in the freezer. We were going to just get one, but since they were buy one get one free, we just got two. Then we got some Ritz crackers for tonight um, to have our friends over to maybe if they want to just do salami and crackers and cheese. And then we got chocolate chips because you can never have too many chocolate chips on hand <laughs> to make cookies or chocolate chip pancakes or whatever that may be. We got some tortillas as well um, to use and some Kroger normal peanut butter. And then the other thing that we got that is name brand is Orville um, popcorn because it is just so much better than like the normal cheap stuff so this was our entire grocery haul this week um yeah we spent about 63 dollars on everything and um it looks pretty good also those are the flowers that jacob got me this week so sweet so that is about it for our grocery haul. I know that we were able to save a lot of money by buying normal store brand, and we also were sure to check things that were on sale because sometimes things that are on sale that are name brand end up being cheaper than the store brand. Like that's what happened with us for the Tillamook ice cream. So we will for sure always look at that. But that is a look at our grocery haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on budgeting and how to live a life well on a budget. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more grocery haul videos because I'd love to keep sharing them if you guys are interested. And with that, I will look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.